Hello, hello. Welcome to Verbling. Hi there. I'm Teacher Oakley. And for the next hour here on Verbling, uh, we're going to be looking at pronunciation of N, 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 N and NG. Mm. That's right. Lots of today in this class. Uh, frankly, the problem usually for uh, uh, English second language speakers is the NG sound. Most people can handle the N. It's the NG sound that gives people fits normally because they, what they do, the mistake that is usually made, students tend to drop their tongue quickly uh, too quickly and pronounce a bit of a K sound. <coughs> they aspirate, in other words, and a <coughs> sound comes in. Singing. I was singing. Uh, no, the um, <laughs> ring. It should be ring. Uh, okay. You just have to continue the sound. The mm sound can be continued and you don't need to drop your tongue so fast, okay? Both N and NG are nasal sounds. The nasal sounds, nasal refers to your nose. And nasal sounds include M, N, and ng. Obviously M, you're using your lips to force the air through your nose, obviously. Your mouth is closed for an M sound. And the only way you can voice is to breathe out of your nose. That's an M. N, N, my tongue is towards the front of my mouth. Again, blocking air. And obviously voiced, M, N, N, G, they're all voice sounds. So I'm using my voice box and it's vibrating. Uh, N, tongue near... Behind the top teeth, a little bit behind the top teeth, not just behind the top teeth, but towards the front of the mouth, generally speaking. NG, you more or less fold your tongue up. Mm, mm, my mouth is open, but I'm using the back of my tongue. I'm kind of folding my tongue up like this and using this part of my tongue, if this is the tip of my tongue, to block my throat. And again, of course, breathing through my nose. Same thing with N. N. Ugh. Kind of have a cold. That's hard to do <laughs> when your nose is stuffed. Uh, okay. But there is air going out your nose. And G, same thing. Uh, okay. Hello. Hello, Jabo. How are you? Hello. Uh, okay. How are you? I'm good. Good. Mm. Good. Glad to hear it. Nice Thank to have you in class again. Haven't seen yeah. you for a little while. Really? Why? I, well, I, have, I haven't seen you for a little oh, while. Oh, okay, okay, okay. It's been a while, yeah. Yeah, a little bit. That's anyway. Okay. anyway. Anyway, it's good to see you again. Yeah. Okay. And uh, also, hi. Well, hi, Patricia. Hi. Hi, Patricia. Hi, good job. <laughs> hi Patricia in the class. Hi. Hi, uh, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Where, where are you from? Um, I am Peruvian, but I live in Italy. Oh, yeah, okay. All right. Uh, terrific. Well, uh, Patricia, nice to have you in the class. Today's very Thanks. basic pronunciation and an NG class should be fairly easy. Just to add an element of difficulty, because I can. <laughs> We're going to be looking at minimal pairs with pretty much the same sounds except differentiating N and NG. Uh, I'm going to have you guys pronounce them carefully and then again quickly. And then uh, if we run across any words which we do not know, we're unfamiliar with, I will try to define the vocabulary words you don't know. And then I'm going to ask you to form a simple sentence using both the words in the minimal pair. Don't worry about your sentence making a lot of sense. It can be silly. In fact, it's more fun if it is silly. 
Uh, it doesn't have to be logical or a good sentence or meaningful in any way. Just a, a very simple sentence to show me you know how to form a sentence. For some folks, it, for real beginners, it may be very difficult to form a sentence. You can go ahead and form two sentences, one with each word, if that makes it easier. If you just can't come up with a sentence with both words. Anyway, that's the plan. Uh, so we're going to constant, mostly focusing on our N and NG pronunciation. Also, a little bit of vocabulary and a little bit of simple sentence structure. Uh, okay, uh, Haj Hajar, hello. Hello. How are hello. you, teacher? I'm good. How are you? Yeah, good. Thank you. Terrific. Glad to hear it. Uh, okay, so again, real quick, and you can barely see, and but my tongue is right here behind my top teeth, and G, mm, my mouth is open for N and N G. Mm, they are both continuants. I can mm, as long as I have breath in my lungs, I can continue the sound. N G, mm, I'm using the back of my tongue to block the air from my throat. Uh, okay, and, and that's it. Let's practice, all right. As I just, I just said, this is pretty much exactly what I just said. Both the N and the N sound are pronounced with air coming through your nose, with you blocking the air in your mouth with the front of your tongue for the N and the back of your tongue for the N. Let's try, let's start off simply by looking at these pairs. Uh, Jebo, you were first in, so I'll give you the first pair. Okay. Bend. Bend. Well, the first one was good. Band. Uh, bang. Bend. Bend. Bang. 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 Yeah. Bend. Draw your tongue. Bang. bang. Never, never mind the ED for now. Just do just bang. Let me hear that. Bang. 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 And that okay. Hang on a second. Hold everything. Okay. Now all right, as I was saying, all right, in the, you're using the and you're using this part of your mouth, all right? This is, I, sorry, this part of your tongue. If, 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 imagine my hand is your tongue. You're basically using the top of your tongue, not really the tip, but the top, N. All right. For NG, you're using way back here, all right? Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. And try straightening out your tongue slightly. Bang, bang, bang. Move your tongue slightly down to finish, to sort of get that a little bit of a G sound. Bang. 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 Also notice my mouth, when, I, when I'm finishing the sound, my mouth closes slightly. That's because I'm also dropping my tongue. Bang. 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 Yeah. That's it. Okay, that's better. All right. Uh, one more time. Hang on. Let me throw this up here. One more time. Both words. Bend. Bend. Bang. Bend. Yeah, I can barely tell the difference when you say both of these words. Band. Listen to me say them. Band. Banged. Bang. Bend. Bend. Okay, that's better. That was, that was better. Okay. Uh, great. Now, do you, if you, do you know the meaning of both these words? Yes. Sure. Okay. Can you make, form me a simple sentence using both of these words? Uh, I used to join a band in the college. Okay, and the second one. Okay. Uh, the exposure band, band. Uh, in 
in in the building. Okay, w wait a minute. <laughs> Hold everything. I used to join a band. Uh, used to we used to talk about something that you did over and over and over again in the past, but you don't do it anymore. So if you say I used to join a band, that means you joined a band twelve or fifteen or twenty times, which sounds very strange. <laughs> I joined a couple of bands, or I joined a band in university. That that's fine. It would probably be better to just use simple past tense. All right. Uh, used to is kind of reserved for something that we did over and over and over again previously, but we don't do it anymore. Banged. Uh, what was your sentence? I got confused. Mm. My sentence is. Uh the bang is uh, the bang is banned in the was banned in the building. The bomb was banned. <laughs> oh, well, I, I'm not. You know, I'm confused. If you're actually saying banned, uh, which is another word, which by the way, banned meaning forbidden, it's no longer allowed, and banned like rock and roll band are they pronounced exactly the same. These are homonyms. And they are pronounced exactly the same. Uh, I'm not sure if the bang is to make a sound like bang. Uh, the verb means to make that sound. So the children banged on the pots and pans with wooden spoons. Something like that. Okay, the children made banging sounds on the pots and pans with a spoon. All right. So I, I'm not sure. You said the bomb banged. We, I wouldn't say. I, okay. <laughs> Let's say the bomb exploded, uh, or the bomb was banned. I, I'm not sure, but the bomb made a loud bang in, in the hallway. I, I don't know, something like that. Okay. Anyway, let's move on. Naibe, let me greet you to the class. Hello, Naibe. How are you? Hello, Lee. I'm fine, thank you. How are you today? I'm okay. Thank you very much. Uh, let's let me talk to Patricia. Patricia. Yes. Try this. Try this next pair, please. Okay. Uh, hand. Um. Hand. Hand, um, hand, hand. Hanged, hanged. Uh, hang, hand. Hanged. That's better. Hanged. Hanged. Okay, that's that's a little better. All right. Uh, okay. And do you know the meaning of these two words? Uh, no. I don't know. Well, you know hand. Hand? Yeah. You know the first hand. word? Your hands. Yeah, you have two of them, each with five fingers or four fingers and a yeah. thumb. Yeah. Yes. Hanged. Uh, hanged. Uh, okay, the, the criminal was hanged for his crimes. Huh. You, uh, they put a rope around his neck and they killed him by letting him hang in the air. So he was hanged. Uh, okay. Basically, he was hanged. They hanged the criminal. Uh, it's basically a past tense verb to hang. Okay. Mm. Can you can you, okay. can you make a sentence with the two words? Mm. No, I can't. You can't. Can you make a sentence with the word hand? Hang? No, I don't know. Hand? H-A-N-D? Okay. So, you can hand, try. Yeah. yeah, can you make a sentence with the word hand? Ah, okay. My um, hands are... Mm. Uh. 
beautiful. Your hands are beautiful. <laughs> you're, you're overthinking it. It doesn't. We. I don't really care what you say. That my hands look like Mickey Mouse's hands. I don't care what you say. It, it's be crazy. It doesn't matter. Um, okay. And how about hanged? Hanged. You can use my examples. Uh, uh, hang is a criminal. Well, is the word synonym of criminal? No, it's not a synonym for criminal. Um, okay, in in some places, when somebody a criminal kills someone else, they take him to court and they say you must be hanged. Okay, so his punishment, they put a rope around his neck and tighten the rope and drop the floor and the man drops, hangs in the air by only the rope, which breaks his neck and he dies. That's a hanging. Okay, you hang someone. That's, that's what to hang means. <laughs> so normally, of course, uh, the verb is, this is a verb, to hang... Yesterday I hung, uh, he was hung, or we have hung the criminal. Usually it's a verb where we just say hang, hung, hung. Um, however, um, hanged, he was, he was, uh, they hanged him. We can use hanged or hung, especially when it comes to criminals. This is a case where the past tense. It could be hung or hanged. It's possible to do it either way. All right, so present tense, mm -hmm. past tense, and then uh, past participle. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. Okay, anyway, he was hanged by the neck until dead. The hanged man was cut down from the tree. Something like that. All right. Okay, You're, I'll, leave, I'll let you off the hook for now. Okay, Hajar, next pair, please. Yes, sin, sing. Okay, excellent with the N and the NG. Uh, you can relax a little bit on the vowel sound. Uh, it's a little too, you're, you, you're making it a little too tense, so you're getting very, very close to the E sound. Relax, I, sin, sing. Sin, sing. That's perfect. Absolutely perfect. Okay. Do you know the meaning of these two words? Yes. Okay. Can you make a sentence with these two words? Mm, yes. Um, for the sin, I, I have uh, done a sin. <laughs> for the, okay, which one was first? For the sin? Is that it? For the sin? Okay. Is that it? Right? I, 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 yes. Okay. I had done, you said done sing? Okay. Maybe to sing. This would work better. For the sin, I had to sing. Like this is the punishment for your sin. I had to sing. <clears throat> is a sin is something amoral that you do probably against that um, is against your religion or your moral code is a sin. All right, sing la la la. Okay, cl close enough. All right, Naibe. Next pair, with you. Sin, sing. Okay, same same thing I just told Hajar. Uh, your N and NG are pretty, are really really good, uh, are good, but the uh, a little more relaxed with the I sound, so it doesn't sound more like thin. It's got to sound like thin, thing. Thing. That's it. That's better. And, and now the pair again. Quickly, please. Thin thing. That's it. Thin thing. Your thin thing. 
Okay, there. That was perfect. Okay, be careful not to aspirate. You're almost aspirating. I could tell, but not quite. You're okay. All right. Can you use these two words in a sentence? Uh, I don't know what is the what, what is the the saying of of the first word. What is the meaning of the first word? Thin. Yes. Uh, okay. Thin um, <coughs> means it's the opposite of fat. Okay, so we often use it to we can use it to describe anything. A pencil is thin. Uh, okay. A person is thin. It's actually considered to be somewhat of a compliment. If I say the person is skinny, that's a little bit. That's not a compliment. That's kind of negative. But thin or slim is actually a compliment. Oh, she's a very slim model. Uh, but if I say she's she's a very skinny girl, that's kind of derogatory. Thin is basically neutral. You're just describing what it is. Okay, so all right, thin. Uh, I I want I want uh, uh, I want uh, I want to be thin. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Uh, uh, yeah. All right. Okay. Um, and I, I want uh, this thing. I want this thing. Okay. All right. All right. <laughs> There's a thin thing stuck under the door. Uh, okay. For example, using both of them, perfectly normal to put them together. Actually. Uh, okay. Next pair, Jabo. Okay, next pair is win, 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 wing, win. Yeah, wing. Yeah. Wing. Imagine, imagine that you're trying to choke yourself with your own tongue. <laughs> That's basically <laughs> what the ng is. Wing. It's basically that's what you're doing. You're folding up your tongue as far back in your mouth as you can. Wing. Win. Uh, see, that's better. All right. Just don't choke. Uh, okay. Yeah, that was much better, actually. Whatever you did right there. Uh, all right. Can you use... Uh, okay. Can you use those in the sentence? Okay. Uh, this morning I bought a lottery, and I hope I can win. All right. Okay. Mm. You bought a lottery ticket. Yeah, I bought a lottery ticket, and uh, I hope I will win tonight. Okay. okay. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> okay. And uh, the second one. Um. Uh, uh, I like to eat fried chicken wing. Wing. Wings. Wings. Okay. Because they're cannibal, you can count wings. So I like to eat fried chicken wings. You need an S at the end. Uh, okay. Here's an expression for you guys to introduce you to. A wing and a prayer. Uh, okay. He, he left for Africa on a wing and a prayer. What do you think that means, Jabal? It's an idiom. Okay, so you cannot take this literally. Idioms cannot be taken literally. You have to have more of the whole meaning. So if I said he left for Africa on a wing and a prayer, mm, maybe he he don't want to go there. Uh, yeah, good guess. Uh, he he was forced to go there, and uh, he said a prayer to God. <laughs> okay, that's a good guess. Nice try to use logic. Sometimes logic doesn't always work with idioms. He left on a wing and a prayer. Probably means he had no money. He had no prospects. He had no job. He had nowhere to stay. So he's just basically going, hoping for the blessing of angels to help him on his way because he has really no plan. Basically, it means you do something with no plan. And no foresight toward the future. Okay. I'll do something on a wing and a prayer, uh, hoping it'll turn out right. 
basically is the idea. Praying it'll turn out right. Uh, okay. Next one, Patricia. Okay. Uh, wind. Wind. Okay, that, that was good with the N and NG. Very good. Mm -hmm. Ooh, okay. Good. Now, do you know the meaning of these two words? Mm, the first word, I know, but the second word, I don't know. Okay. Winged is simply an adjective which we use to describe anything that has wings, like a bird. It's a winged animal. That's all. Just like that. Okay. okay. Um, the wind is cold. Okay. No, uh, the, um, the wind. No. No. The wind is cold. Is a, is the a wind? sentence. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's okay. Can you try to make a sentence with winged? Um, the wind is wind. No. Um, and the weather is wind. Uh, the weather is windy. In that case, you'd have to use the adjective. Wind is a noun, and windy is an adjective. But how about mm. winged, the second word? The water, the weather, the weather. Uh. <laughs> the, the plane is winged. <laughs> <laughs> Naivi suggests that the plane is winged. Well, uh, okay. <laughs> nice guess, but <laughs> we probably wouldn't say that um, because the wings are just a feature of the plane. Uh, look, I could say the, a bat is a winged animal like that. That would probably be normal. Uh, you know, conversely, you pick anything else. A rhinoceros is not a winged animal. Also a perfectly useful sentence. Uh, okay. All right. Like that. That's It's an adjective. So winged and a noun. Uh, yes. Winged animal is probably the most common collocation that you're going to hear. Okay. All right, Hajar, how about we're going to move up here, pre-intermediate level. Next pair, Hajar. Yes, dan, dan. Okay, that was good. One Again, fast. Dan, dan. All right, feel your tongue moving back in your mouth as you're going from the N to the NG. Okay, uh, that was great. Uh, do you... Do you know the meaning of, I'm sure you know done, um, as in finished, but do you know the meaning of dung? No, I don't have. Okay. I don't well, have. It's a disgusting word. Uh, it means like poo-poo, animal, animal excrement. Often dung is used for, for fertilizer, for gardens or for farms, for plants. You put it on the plants, it helps them grow. Dung is the waste of, well, <laughs> animal waste, any animal. That includes the human animal, but usually uh, dung is often the waste of farm animals, whatever, cows and horses and goats and chickens and sheep and pigs. Uh, okay. My cat is winged. <laughs> really, Patricia? You have a winged cat? That's interesting. Cool. Uh, Hajar, can you make a sentence? I have done it. 
Okay. That's pretty straightforward. Uh, all right. How about dumb? Uh, I don't understand well uh, what is mean and dunk. Well, I, I could use, of course, much harsher words, which we normally use in language, to talk about when you... Okay, a man goes to the bathroom. If he stands up, he urinates. If he sits down, he makes dung. Do you understand? <laughs> Do you get it now? <laughs> Uh, no. No, really. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, pretty sure you do it. Um, um, being that we all have to go to the bathroom. When you go to the bathroom, sometimes you make water, and sometimes solid stuff comes out. That solid stuff is dung. Do you understand? <laughs> it drops in the toilet. Plop, plop. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay, that's it. Usually, when we refer to dung, we talk. We're talking about farm animals and their manure. It would be a close, uh, a close synonym. Their manure, which is often used for fertilizing crops, for example. So it would be very normal to say the farmer spread dung, pig dung, on his corn crop, for example. Uh, he spread dung in the fields. Something like that. Okay? That would be very mm -hmm. normal. Alright, I'll save you from making a sentence. <laughs> okay. uh, you can thank me later. Okay. Um, we've had a couple others join us, um, so I want to quickly say hello to Nader. Hello, Nader. Hello, good afternoon. Good evening. <laughs> Uh, good evening, and and Fan is with us. Fan, I really yeah, should, make you, should make you do the next pair, actually. Sure, sure. Good evening. Uh, good evening. Naibe, just excuse me, but I really want Fan to see if he can pronounce his own name. <laughs> okay. I, Fan, and uh, Fan. <laughs> <laughs> okay, wait. Fan, Fang. Fang. Fan. Fan. No, no, that sounds like you're saying the same word twice. This obviously you have no problems with the first word. Fan uh, and fan. Yeah. Fang. Oh, that's better. Fang. fang. Again, you're you're basically trying to cram your tongue as far back in your mouth as you possibly can. Fan. Fan. Fang. Fan. All right. All right, but bunching your tongue up so that the top part of your tongue is pressed against the roof of your mouth. The back of your tongue is pressed against the roof of your mouth as much as you can. That's the NG sound. Fang. Uh, okay. One more time, fan. 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 Fang. Fang. Fan. Fang. Uh, fang. Uh, no, you're... Okay, hang on. Let me stop. Uh, <laughs> uh, okay. This, okay, this is your tongue. This is the tip of your tongue. All right? When you yes. pronounce an N, you're using basically this part. Mm, N. So you can do that. And I heard you. Fan. Okay. Fan. That's great. This part is touching the roof of your mouth. When you pronounce an NG, it's this part. It's touching the roof of your mouth way back here. Here's your teeth, way up here. Your your tongue is like this, pointed down in your mouth. Fang. Fang. See my tongue? It's lying way down there. You can't even see where the back of my tongue is pushed tightly against the roof of my mouth. Fang. That's Fang. way back there. That's Fang. better. Yeah. Fang. That's Fang. it. Now you got it. Okay, now you're talking. Fang. Right. Fang. Is it? Fang. Is it? Fang. Yeah, that's a lot closer. 
Fang. Um, now, okay, wait a second. Notice when I complete the sound. Fang. Fang. I start closing my mouth, and I start to l slowly lower my tongue. So there's a little bit of a G sound, just not barely perceptible. Fang. 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 Can you say nya? Nya. 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 Whoop. Whoop. Nya. Nya. Yeah, fang. Uh, yeah. Oh, that's a lot closer. Well, that nyak sound is at the end of the fang. Fang. Yeah, okay, fang. Okay. Fang. All right. Do you know what a fang is? No. Uh, I think it's uh, in a, a kind of first name in well, <laughs> Chinese. <laughs> fang? Uh, in, I, well, I don't know, uh, frankly. But Fang are, uh, have you ever seen a vampire? <coughs> yeah, I think I do. You vampire, have in, kind of in real, uh, uh, in real life. Uh, real no. life? No, I don't yeah, think. Right. I. Okay. Well, anyway, a vampire has fangs, the the long teeth that stick down. Oh that you yeah. Can bite your throat with. All right. Oh, Dogs have that's, fangs. That's... Okay, so yes, it's a fangs. kind of teeth. Sharp, pointy teeth. That's right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Usually carnivores, meat eaters, have fangs. Okay. Can you use these two words in a sentence? Uh, combine together. Well, if you... If you can do it together, that would be terrific. If you can't, then try it one at a time. Uh, no, I can't. I I separate. Um, okay. Uh, Fan is my first name, and uh, <laughs> yeah, okay. And uh, Fan, uh, Fan. Uh, uh, all right. Um, uh, whenever I s see the dog's fan, I will feel scared. Okay, very good. All right. Bang. Um, bang. I, when you're at the end of this NG sound, it's almost like you're starting to swallow a little bit. Bang. 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 Yeah, actually, my tongue's going back slightly. I'm actually starting to, like, swallow just slightly. I slightly move my tongue to create a slightly different sound. Fang. Fang. There's a little uh after, perhaps. You'd want to make sure not to drop your tongue quickly, because then it sounds like fank, which is actually a, a big problem. I, I don't think I have any Russians in class today, but that's usually the problem they have. Um, they drop their tongue abruptly or quickly, and they say "thank." Um, but you've got to be gentle a little bit. All right, all right. Um, Naibe, next pair here. Naibe. Gong, gong, gong. Perfect. Okay. You know, you've got it. Now, do you know these two words? Do you know what a gong is? Uh, gong, gong is the participle of, of go? No, that would be going. Uh, no, gong is a noun, actually. Uh, gong is um, a percussion instrument. It's a big, giant metal plate. You might have seen in I don't know in like Asian movies or Asian oh, dance. Yeah, yeah, I I I know what is what is the the second the second word key, uh, Right. Uh, that is gone. <sighs> but gone is, is oh. the past participle. Of, oh, I'm oh. sorry. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, I thought you were talking about this. Okay, never mind. No. The, the, the yes, the, it the, is. The, the yes, it the is. Yes, it is. You're right. You're right. <laughs> yes, go, gone, went. Uh, go, went, gone. He has okay. gone to work. Yeah, like that. That's okay. Right. 
Sorry. Eh, no, 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 no problem. <laughs> no problem. Eh, I I had gone. I had gone to work. Okay. Sure. And 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 I I have a gong. You have a gong? Really? In your house? Uh, in, in, in my room. <laughs> in your room? Cool. Along with your winged cat, your winged cat. Yeah. It's, it, it, it's polos, but, but uh, <laughs> some police way is as well. <laughs> okay. All right, yeah. Gong makes a very loud sound. It's a very, it's large. It's like the size of a human being. It's a giant metal plate, and when you hit it with a some kind of a, some type of a stick or, I don't know, whatever. It's very, very loud. But it, yeah. Nader, where'd you go? Nader's in, Nader's out. I don't know where he's going. Okay. Jebo, back to you. Mm, okay. Uh, hin. Hin. Oh, you're improving. You're, that's vastly improved from the start of the class. <laughs> very good. That was good. Thank you. Okay, one more time, fast. Kin, kin. Okay, all right. It helps when you stretch the sound a little bit, doesn't it? At least yeah. it helps yeah. you. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. that was good. All right. Do you know the meaning of these two words? Uh, the second one, I don't know, but the first one, could you explain a little bit to me? I could. Kin are your family. Oh, my family. And usually we're talking about your extended family, you know, your cousins and grandparents. Just like uh, relatives, right? Yeah, relatives. Like, just like relatives, that's it. Uh, uncle, yeah. niece, yeah. niece or, uh, aunt, or something. Yeah, all that. Okay. All that, okay. Grandfather, grandmother. You got it. Yeah. All right. Even going back, it, inc it includes your, you know, your... Well, uh, it includes second cousins and just your whole vast family, and it even has the connotation of meaning your your ancestors as well. No, oh, okay, I got it. All right, thank you. Uh, okay, can you use it in a sentence? Kin and king. Okay, the first one. Yeah, in Chinese Lunar New Year, I usually to visit my king. And okay, the second one is, uh, I I am the king of the world. Are you? Yeah, sure. Okay. Leonardo. Right. Yeah, great. <laughs> you can you can go to Naive's house and she'll a announce your entrance with her massive dong and her flying cats. Uh, okay, terrific. Uh, okay. Let's see. Um, Nader, are you here? Are you here? Yes. Talking here? Yes, I'm here. Oh. <laughs> talking here? Or? Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. Next pair. Sun. Sun. That's good. All right. Very good. All right. You can do this. Sun, sung. And again, fast. Sun, sun. Okay. Perfect. And can you use. Both words in a sentence. I have sun under the sun. Yeah, how poetic. Okay, excellent. Very nice. Uh, okay, perfect. Okay, Patricia, uh, you are up. Okay. Uh, peng, peng. Uh, wait, one more time again, please. Peng, peng. Pe peng. Okay. Not quite so much of a hard guh on there, but pang. Actually, this one, uh, this time mm -hmm. I was more worried about the first word, pan. Pan. Okay, that's better. Pan. Pang. Pang. Peng. Okay. Yeah, don't, don't be so fierce about the guh. Instead, pang. Pang. Mm. It's not really a gut sound, but a pang. Mm -mm. Pang. Pang. Yeah, yeah. pang. 
try to keep your tongue on the top of your mouth. When you release it, you, you that's when you that's how you make ka and ka sounds. So it's not really a G sound, pang, pang. You're trying to prevent yourself from making the G sound. So not dropping it too sharply, pang. Instead, mm. slide your tongue. Oh, that's better. Slide your tongue. Don't drop your tongue. Just slide it back slightly, pang, pang. Pang, pang. That's it, that's it. Okay, do you know what a pang is? No. No, I don't know. Okay, a pang is like a, a like a sharp pain. Okay, a sudden sharp pain. All right. Um, when you're hungry, sometimes you get uh, a very common co-location. By the way, uh, common co-location of words, hunger pangs. When you're very, very hungry, you start to have pains in your stomach because you're so hungry. Uh Okay. So can you use these words in a sentence? Mm. No. No, I can't. You can't. <laughs> you can't. Sure you can. What is a pan for? No, I don't know the pan. Pan? A pan is something you cook with. What? Uh, you cook with. Do you ever make tomato sauce? Mm. Do you make tomato sauce to eat? Do you make food? Yes. Oh, with, with a stove? Well, you probably don't put the stove, put the food right on the stove. You put the food in a pan and you put the pan on the stove. Ah, okay. A, a okay. pan is a metal container used to cook with. Ah. Okay. Like a, a frying pan, for example. You fry in a frying pan. You want to cook eggs? You need a frying pan. Okay. Uh, okay. So, there you go. Frying pan. Can you, can you, you make a sentence with pan? Mm. I, I, no, no. No? Okay. No. I cook with a frying pan. That would be a sentence. That's fine. Uh, okay. Pang. I had a sharp pang in my elbow this morning. Okay. A pain. A sudden pain. That's, mm -hmm. that's it. Uh, okay. Hello, goodbye, Max. <laughs> Hi, Max. Bye, Max. Come on back. Hajar. Uh, next, next set. Hajar, are you there? Yes. Hi. Peen, peen. Okay, again, you got to be careful of your peen. Don't. Don't use too much tension. Relax your mouth. Relax your tongue. Pin. Ping. Pin. Right. Ping. Yeah, okay. As soon as I tell you that, you're fine. Right. That's fine. You've got to stay relaxed on that short I sound or it turns into peen and peen. E. It turns into an E. Just relax. Uh, okay. Pin. You. Do you know what a pin is? No. No? A pin uh, is, do you know what a needle is? Yes. Yes. A pin is exactly like a needle except without a hole. There's no hole to put the thread through. A pin is a needle. It just doesn't have a hole. You use pins to hold together clothes or whatever. Okay? Yeah. Okay. All right. Do you know what a ping is? No. It's, a couple, it's a couple things, really. A ping is a sound. Ping. Okay, it's just a sound. Um, I heard a pinging in my ears. Ping, ping, ping. Uh, you know the submarines? Have you ever watched a submarine movie? 
No. No, you've never watched a submarine movie. Okay. Anyway, the sound a submarine makes in the movies it goes ding, ding, ding. You hear that dinging sound of the sonar in the submarine. That's that sound is a ping. That's classic ping. Um, but ping is also what you do on the internet. You can ping. Uh, you can ping. Uh, your server or your server can ping you to make sure that you're receiving connection. It just means sending a simple um, message from one place to another uh, using the internet or using some kind of some kind of internet connection. Just basically you use it to check to see if uh, the other place is receiving. Um, you can ping somebody. It's just a short signal to check to, to check the signal. Uh, it's a short bundle of information. But okay, but it's also a sound. Ping. It's a sharp, high-pitched sound. All right. Can you use these words in a sentence? Hajar. Hajar. Are you there? Am I here? Okay. Am I here? <laughs> yes, you're here. Yeah, okay. Thanks. Sometimes I have to check when when people don't answer me, I just think I oh I'm maybe I'm sometimes it happens, you're offline, you don't know you're offline for like two minutes. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh Hajar, I guess that means no. You you're gonna refuse to make a sentence. Okay. I dropped the pin and it pinged when it hit the floor. There. Uh, there's a sentence for you. Okay. Uh, all right. Naibe. Uh, can you try the next pair? Ran, rang. Ran, rang. Yeah, a little more ah. But of course, I'm American, so that's my American pronunciation. Ran, rang. Ran, rang. Okay. Perfect. That was perfect. Can you use these in a sentence? I ran to bus. I ran to the bus. Okay. I ran to the bus. Yeah. Um, the the phone the phone rang. The phone rang. Yeah. Okay. Uh, all right, the phone rang uh, when I ran to the bus. Okay, that's all right. Fan. Fan, can you try the next set here? Uh, ten. Ten. Oh, much. Ooh, see, you're getting better, too. Okay, much better. I could hear the movement in your tongue. Just be careful not to... Not to drop it, not to aspirate, but you're really, really, really close now. Tin, ting. Tin, ting. Ting. Tin. Ting. Ting. Yeah, that's ting. better. That was it. Ting. That's, now you're getting it. Okay. What, uh, do you know what tin is, first of all? Oops, sorry. No. Tin, I see, T -I -N. Uh, a kind of adamant. Indeed. That's exactly right. Well, yeah, it's a kind of metal, tin. Uh, okay. Um, that's right. Tin, uh, like um, tin cans, for example. Okay. Uh, yeah. Is, cans are made of tin. Or actually, they're, they're made of aluminum now, but they used to be made. They used to be. They used to be made of tin. Uh, I guess they're, it's cheaper to use aluminum now. Okay, and ting is again a sound like ping, a sharp, clear ringing sound, like when glass. Okay, this. Oh, that's no good. <laughs> no, that's not good. When you hit glass with a spoon, for example, I can't do it. Uh, that's a ting. So it's uh, another onomatopoeia. It's a word that sounds like what it means. Okay. Uh, 
So, can you use these words in a sentence? Uh, okay. The the mental tin can make a sound tin. <laughs> okay, that's great. Super. That's perfect. Okay, great. Um, Nader. <coughs> Next pair. Tongue. 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 Okay. Tongue. That's it. Okay. Make a, you can make a great sentence with this one. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I, uh, the whale's the whale tongue may weigh <laughs> half a ton. <laughs> oh, very good. The whale's tongue may weigh half a ton. I love it. Okay, good one. All right, nice. Okay, Jabo, we're, we're back to you. What, this, the same one? Okay, okay. Is this one you've had before? Very, oh, it's very no, no, I'm very similar, yeah. Very okay. similar. Yeah, okay. All right, let's, wait, wait, okay, we'll, we'll skip down a couple. Let's, let's try something different. Let's go down to this one. Okay. Bang. Bang. Okay, definitely much better. Now with the NGs. Great. It was very good. Can you do it again fast? Yeah. Bang. Bang. Okay. Noticeable difference. I can now hear the difference between those two. Excellent. Thank you. Uh, do you know the meaning of these two words? First um, one. The first, the first one I know is some kind of break. A break. Yeah. Like so you put a can, burger, hamburger can, on them. Yeah. We can eat. Yeah. That's right. You put a hammer around. The second one, I don't, I don't, I have no idea about it. I don't blame you. I'd be surprised if anybody knows what this is. Does anybody know what a bung is? This is a very unusual word. Uh, anybody? Okay, great. We all get to learn at least one thing in this class. A bung. Okay, if you've ever seen um, the a classic barrel like a barrel made of wood with wood slats, a cask or a barrel, such as you might hold beer or whiskey in. All right, think about that. Picture that barrel in your mind. There is always a round hole drilled into the barrel, and there is a kind of a, a round circle, but it's shaped like a wedge, which they tap with a hammer into the hole to seal it. That hole is the bung. Okay? That that round circular cork type device, but it's a cork for it's made out of wood. It's not made out of cork. Um that that wood used as a plug is the bung. Uh so there you go. That's a What's bung. Obscure thing. Cork. Cork? Like uh, in a yes. bottle of wine. Uh, it's what. Now they use metal tops for wine, but uh, they used to always use cork. It's a little bit spongy material. Yes, no. No, yeah. I Okay. So a cork is to a bottle as a bung is to a barrel. Okay. So that's a tough one. Jabo, I'd be really impressed yes. if you can use that in a sentence. <laughs> yeah. Try using that in a sentence, Jabo. Good luck. Uh, 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 this morning, I drank a, drain a cup of milk and uh, a bunk with an egg. And I saw, <laughs> and I saw a container is, was leaking, so I just closed the bunk. Oh, nice. Not bad. <laughs> okay. It <I just> was <laughs> impressive. Okay. Okay. That was, that was pretty impressive. Uh, okay. Uh, we're about out of time. Hello, uh, Miriam uh, outside. And hello, Ismail outside. And hello, I mean, goodbye, everyone inside. We are out of time. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay. Uh, Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye, Bye everyone. Oops, Bye, I forgot to stop the class. Thank you. Yeah.